In these challenging times of isolation, we have got to make the best. And so I am going to recreate all the physics experiments, the mandatory physics experiments, here, here in my house, with just the items which I can find quite commonly around me. Today's experiment, I'm starting simple, and I'm going to do all of them, except the ones which are really hard. No, I meant to say that quietly, didn't I? I said to some. Anyway. Right. So I'll try and do them all. Mm. What do I need for this experiment? This is the speed of sound in air. This is a vase. It's a vase that my <coughs> for being best in show. There were no animals involved, but you know, they were just different days, different days. So, as well as the vase full of water, I also have a piece of waste pipe which I have taken, as you can see, from under the sink. Oh. Mm. As long as I get it back before we turn the taps on, I think we're okay. So we pop that into there, best place for it, and tuning fork. Yes, yes, you say yes, but I haven't got a tuning fork. No, you haven't got a tuning fork. But you have got a phone, and you can download this free app. This is Frequency Sound Generator, and I've got it turned on to 400 hertz. I turn on the play, just loud enough so that you can hear it, but it's not too loud that it will interfere with the, the listen. Resonance. The frequency of the phone and the frequency of the tube are both the same, so I'm getting a perfect transfer of energy between the two. Resonance. So, I measure the height. 90. I measure the diameter. 4. Now, I've done this experiment already, so here is a laser display I prepared earlier. So, the speed of any wave is calculated by using the formula C of the speed of the wave is equal to its frequency times its wavelength. So first we have to calculate the wavelength. Now, the length of the tube from the water level to the top of the tube is only a quarter of the length of the wave plus an end correction because the wave slightly exceeds the length of the tube. The antinode, the maximum point of, of uh, vibration, is above the end of the tube. So you have to multiply this corrected length by four. So there is the formula at the very top, four bracket L plus point three D, D being the diameter bracket. So we put our figures in as 0.19, for the 19 centimetres height of the tube, and 0 0.04 for the 4 centimetres diameter of the tube, and it gives us a wavelength of 0 0.808, which is about 80 centimetres. We multiply this by the frequency when we had resonance, and we end up with a figure 323.3 metres per second, which is pretty close to the 330 it's usually taken at. And just an amazing experiment. And no tricks, no... Nothing was done during this experiment. What are the precautions? Well, obviously, you have to avoid parallax when you're reading the metre rule. And you have to be ensured that you've got the absolute maximum point. But that's 